a pleasant good day hallelujah we give god praise let's give god thanks let's give god all the glory and all the honor the scripture says that he is the El Gabor, he is the almighty God. And what a mighty God it is that we serve, even in a time that we are living in, that we can still see his grace and feel his mercy and experience his love. Hallelujah. I'm so excited about this series entitled Undefeated. And I'm excited because I believe that God desires for us to live a victorious life. I believe in outer doubt that when the scripture says that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus, it means literally that we have to grab hold of the things that has already been conquered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so I'm just excited to help uh, the church and to help us as believers and even non-believers to come to a place to understand that we are living in a dark time but a time where it is that the light of God can shine very brightly. And so it's so important for us to firstly begin to understand the concept of spiritual warfare for us to be able to have that victory in our lives. Because behind everything that there is a spirit, sometimes there can be things happening within your life, happening within your home, happening within your family that are not natural, but they are spiritual. And so to deal with spiritual forces, you have to have a spiritual strategy to be able to conquer and to have that victory. And so it's so important for us to come to a place of understanding the weapons and the strategies uh, that we have in Christ, as well as the technical strategies that the enemy uses uh, to try to bring us to a place of where it is that we are defeated. But we are not called to have our back against the wall. We are not called to be a uh, people on the run, but we are called to be a people that are advancing the kingdom and advancing the principles, his laws, his, his power and his demonstration of his miracles and signs and wonders and so we have to be able to live a undefeated life and we can live we are expected to live an undefeated life in Christ Jesus it doesn't matter how many forces that might be trying to come against you on your left or on your right what really matters is you having the ability to win every battle that the enemy will try to send your way and so I have spent more than uh, more than two decades uh, involved in spiritual warfare and understanding um, spiritual battles on the battlefield and so I, this, these vlogs is definitely going to help you to begin to understand uh, some of the things that we need to do as believers, that we need to begin to understand and not be fighting with one another, not fighting with our husband, not fighting with our wives, not fighting with our children or even our neighbors, but beginning to understand that we are truly not wrestling against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against principalities, spirits within the atmosphere, we are wrestling against rulers, territorial spirits in different regions. We are wrestling against cosmic powers that desires individuals to worship the sun, the moon, and the stars, and earthly things. We are wrestling against spiritual weakness in low places, those that desires to torment uh, uh, individuals through dreams and through curses, uh, through invokements, uh, uh, through... Uh, um, different forms of demonic systems and different forms of demonic actions and so we're going to be getting into all of that within these uh vlogs and uh, i know that some might be asking you know how it is that i even got into understanding spiritual warfare and being involved in deliverance ministry it all began even before i even came to christ i used to have consistent dreams of where these beings, these beasts, will be flying from the air and they will be chasing me. So for my my teenage years, I was always being chased by these beasts uh, in the air that will come down and they will be chasing me. And I always be running. I'll be running on you on a road. I'll be running through a forest. And so in my teenage years, I would have those type of dreams. But then when I came to Christ and I accepted Christ, everything began to change. I now began to chase after 
these things within my dreams and I would defeat them through the power of Jesus Christ. And so I began to recognize then and there that when my dream, my dreams began to change, that there was a spiritual battle that was taking place for my life behind the scenes that I was not aware of. And when I came to Christ, Christ gave me that ability to be able to fight, to defeat, and to conquer. And so there are some of you that might be having trouble within your dream world, where it is that the enemy is trying to chase you, trying to seduce you, trying to intimidate your life, trying to intimidate your mind, trying to intimidate your spirit, trying to hinder your footsteps from moving forward. And so the enemy trying to use those mechanisms to try to get you to a place of where it is that you are defeated but i want to tell you this that don't matter what it is that the enemy try to do even in the subconscious world or in the physical world god has already said that no weapon form against us and shall not cannot ever be able to prosper we have been given the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy so even when the enemy is trying to come in a way in a manner of where it is that he shows himself as goliath you got to show yourself as david all it is that you need is just one word one stone to be able to lick down those goliaths those spiritual forces that are coming against your family coming against your mind and so at times you may feel that spirit of anxiety and that heaviness at times you may feel that place of where you feel like giving up where you feel like quitting but i want to encourage you that God desires for you to live a victorious life. And so we are going to be going into several different teachings to be able to help you to precisely identify what is coming against you. You cannot win a vict have a victorious life if you are unable to identify the enemy that you are fighting against. You got to know who the enemy is. You got to know who it is that you are fighting against. You got to know the battle that is ahead. You got to be able to know the strategy so that you will be able to have a victorious life in Christ Jesus. Are you hear what it is I'm saying? And you can have that victorious life. Somebody say, I am victorious in Christ Jesus. I am victorious in Christ Jesus. You're going to declare it, you know. I am victorious in Christ Jesus. And so one of the things that we're going to be doing for me or the goal of this whole vlog is to make you to become like a spiritual sniper one that is spiritually militant one that has the understanding of what we are fighting against where we are fighting this battle and how it is that we can have and maintain victory through jesus christ and so even now if you are just tuning into this vlog i want to pray for you i want to declare that God is going to make a way out for you. You might be feeling right now that you are in a prison, that you are in a cell and you don't know how to get out. Or you might be feeling like the enemy is all around. He's messing with your home. He's messing with your mind. He's messing with your physical body. He's messing with your job. And so you're feeling those darts coming your way. I want to pray that you are going to begin to have that victorious life, that you will begin to be on the Eaten through the blood of Christ as you continue to pursue the things that God will have in store for your life, which is your purpose, which is your destiny. And so right now, Father God, anyone and everyone Father God, that looks at these vlogs, that look at, at what is being taught, even in this vlog, God, I pray by fire, by power, that Lord God, that you will touch that life, that you will touch that soul, that they will be able to have victory, that the enemy will not bring them into a place of depression or anxiety or have their backs against the wall. Father Lord God, I come against, oh God, Father, the strategies that the enemy have been using for years to seduce to put into bondage your people, oh God, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that snares will begin to break, that chains will be bring, will begin to break, God, and that doors that was once shut by demonic forces, oh God, Father, will be will be deprived 
open that Lord God Jesus that your people oh God Father God will be able Father to step into the things that you desire for them to step into so Father dear God Lord Jesus let your supernatural power Father God touch her Father God each and every individual God who might be looking at this vlog right now in Jesus mighty name Father I declare it to be so in Jesus mighty name I pray amen and amen and amen get ready for what God is going to do within your life get ready for what it is that he is going to present on your table the Bible says that he presents a table in the presence of your enemies and so get ready because a thousand will fall at your side ten thousand will fall at your right and it will not come near thee God is calling us to be victorious against the unseen forces in the spiritual world so that the victory will manifest in the physical world in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Let's get ready for war.